Welcome back to Pumper's Fishing Home, my peeps. Today we're going to show y'all how to mix up some carp bait, and we're going to go after some carp. We're down at uh, R Richard B. Russell Lake, and I love fishing down here. We're down here with family. A lot of my grandkids are here, my daughter, my son-in-law, and my beautiful wife's working the camera for me today, which will make us a whole lot easier. Y'all like and subscribe, baby. Share my channel. I appreciate it. Love each and every one of y'all, and God bless. Let's get right to it. Okay, for the carp bait I made, this is a pack bait. I use breadcrumbs. Use the cheapest you can get. I don't think carp is going to complain. They never have. We're going to use just a plain old breadcrumbs. Panko. Use panko and breadcrumbs. I'm sorry. Person wants the breadcrumbs. It looks a little different once it's a little finer than other. You're going to take, we're mixing all the dry ingredients. Get a family size of the strawberry gelatins, what I use. Dump all this in, mix her up. You're going to love the way it smells, and don't worry about if your kids get a hold of it because it's all edible. Take one whole can of corn, whole kernel of sweet corn. Dump juice and all in. The other can, most people drain it, but what I do is I'll drain it into the first can. And I'll save a little juice to get the consistency I want. Dump it in. Then we're going to mix her up. And you'll notice as we start mixing her up, the gelatin will start or the jello mix will start making it a pretty red color and it smells incredible. Plus the corn and breadcrumbs just all runs together. Like I said, it's what any of your pets or anything are close to it, the, or your grandchildren. Don't think they won't get a mouthful. Because like I said, it's really good. <laughs> Thumper had to get him a bite just to prove a point, I guess. But what you want, you want this as a consistency to where you do it. Now, that right there is holding together pretty decent, but I like it a little bit, a little bit more than that. So, I add just a little bit of juice. Like I said, you just had it. And plus, when this stuff sits a few minutes, it's going to all kind of Mead together a little more and soak in there. It'll all be a little bit more even consistency. What you want is when you mash that stuff like it right there, but it breaks apart good. That's about exactly the way I like it. All right, that's how you make my pack bait, which a lot of people aren't doing. It's not my recipe. Actually, I took, I missed some one ingredient today. I usually add oats to mine, but uh, we're going to go sleep and catch one. Y'all stay with me. Hey, take somebody fish. Thumper out.